So ladies and gentlemen, I have this delight and pleasure to invite Mr. Promise to come and inform us on the information we need and uh, to instruct us on uh, how to do that. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we clap our hands for Mr. Promise? Praise the Lord. Uh -oh. Children of God, praise the Lord now. Hallelujah. For my life. See, I'm alive. Hallelujah. Yeah, tell somebody beside you, are you awake? Say, I'm awake. Hallelujah. Tell the person again, say, I'm awake. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Yeah. Because um, my colleague here said something that I want to drop. He said something. He said, there are some set of people in a group, right? Is that not true, sir? There are some set of people in a group from 50 to all above. Do you know that you can be at the age of 60, at the age of 70, you are still like the baby of 12? Do you believe that, man? Do you believe that, sir? The other thing that will bring you, I only tell people, I say age. People say age is a number. Me, I don't believe on it. That age is a number. Age is the appropriate time that you have scored. And what makes it that score age is because how you live your life from the beginning, it is how you're going to end it. There's no how, I mean, it's, um, how they call it, it's something you cannot run away from. Now, I will say to you that they say health is a total well-being of an individual, mentally, physically, spiritually, in absence of chronic diseases and infirmity. What is this chronic disease we are talking about? Chronic diseases are not a spiritual infection. Please bring out your notes and pen. Jot down something because today is an important day. So I get, before I continue, let me say thank you, Daddy and Mommy and everyone here that accept us to come here today. May God bless you in Jesus' name. I say may God bless you in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now, chronic diseases are infection. That has been in a person for a long time. That has been in a person for a long time. Defiling medication. This chronic diseases is not a spiritual infection. Do you know that you can go to the market and buy chronic disease? True or true? Please, if I'm talking, I like the house to flow with me. True or true? Do you know you can go to market and tell diabetes, come. How much be diabetes? You say 200 naira. Okay, I need five. Come with me. You can go to market and say arthritis and say, arthritis, how much are you selling? You say 500. Okay, give me three. Come back home. Chronic disease does not just come alone. It comes with its agent. Agent like headache, feverish, cold, dizziness of the eyes, and so many. These are the agents it will come with. It will never come out as a chronic disease. It will start penetrating one after the other. Today, I'm going to talk about stress. Now, stress you see today can simply be defined. You can write it down, please. As a feeling of the emotional and the physical tension of our day-to-day -day activities. Stress is a feeling of the emotional and the physical tension of our day-to-day -day activities. Now, if we say stress is emotional and physical, means that stress is something you incur and stress is something that comes with you. Physical stress is the good one. Because without stress, daddy cannot stand in the people and be talking. It is not easy. If you think it's easy, come and do it. That time he's spending vibrating is stress. We call it the physical stress. But the emotional stress, he says, is the enemy that we have. And how do we have this enemy? It is what you and I eat every day. And I tell people, I said, now we are in a category they call jet age. Is that not true, sir? They call it jet age. And I tell you that in this jet age, many of us today are eating to die, but we don't eat to live. Do you know that, sir? Most of our food we eat are telling us that if I die tomorrow, 
I might die next tomorrow. But there's some food you eat that will keep you far away from the doctor. There's one book I was reading that told me that an apple a day keeps you far away from the doctor. Many of us, we looked at, why must I eat apple? Apple is expensive. I cannot eat apple. But do you know that eating one apple a day keeps you away from the doctor? What keeps you away from the doctor? It helps to energize and boost your immune system. And I tell people, I said, look, not everyone here sitting are healthy, but how is your immune system is? Immune system are the powerhouse that produce energy, that fight against the external organ that will come to, as a bacteria to the body. Every human being sitting here has an standard organ that produces bacteria. We have good bacteria and the bad bacteria. Am I making sense now? But if the good one is lesser than the bad one, that is where infection comes in. Now, let me start with this word called diabetes. Diabetes is a metabolism disorder. That is the word definition of diabetes. It's a metabolism word disorder. And how do we incur this diabetes? Diabetes, some people say it is too much of sugar in the body. The body does not produce sugar. The body produces what we call the glucose. It is high density of glucose in the bloodstream that are unable to break down by the insulin. And it turns what? Sugar in the blood. And there are so many things that cause it. Do you know that Everyone sitting down here and now today, we might be healthy, but inside us are not healthy at the inside. And what makes the inside not healthy? If the insulin is not far fetched working properly, the person is down, but he would think he's healthy. They said, as an adult, we are not expected to eat much things like what? Our meat, our milk, and what again? Something like cold drinks. We are not expected to take it as an adult. Anybody in between the age of 26 and above is an adult. Anybody between the 26 and above is what? An adult. You're not supposed to take much what they call milk. Do you know that when I was growing up, my mom always do one thing. And one day I became jealous. Though we were many as children, my mom would give us one meat to share. But we give my father three, four meats. Because he's the father of the what? The house. But do you know that my mommy was indirectly killing my father? Do you know that? As an adult, we are not expected to eat much meat because one, that meat you are eating has density called, called fat in the body. And that meat, it does not digest easily. It takes six hours to digest in your system. And then you see somebody want to eat rice. You will buy rice, 100 naira, five, uh, 500 naira meat and a bottle of horrible. Is it not enjoying no, when you see that kind of person, what do you think he's doing? Money Miss Road. Abby? But that is the truth. But do you know that that meat that you eat can cause what they call cholesterol? And cholesterol is an excess of fat in the bloodstream. It will not make the blood flow. Now, let me tell you something. Let me bring this to your doorstep. How many of us sometimes we observe what they call um, crap? You ever call it paja paja? Kid dog, kid dog. How many of us observe them? You see that thing called paja paja? It's a symptom of partial stroke. Your body is giving you that if you don't take care of me, I will fall you down and you in that place will not move again. And that is the causes of what they call excess of fat in the blood. Because that cholesterol is that the cholesterol will go and stick in the arteries of the blood. It will not make the blood flow normal. And if the brain that make use of the highest percentage of blood in our body is not enough again. What happened to the, you now see the body will not be regulating. Tell you, there's not much blood flowing in that stream. The heart and the left heart of our body are functioning well. The heart, the left will make sure that it push the blood to the brain. Then the heart will not make, the right side will not make sure that it circulates it all around the body system. But if the blood that went to the brain is unable to come down, what happened to the person? Down do you see a person having a headache? Have you asked yourself, why am I having a headache all the time? The reason why you are having a headache all the time is because the blood is not functioning well to that brain. The blood is not complete. And when the blood is, that is supposed to come to the brain is not complete, it's not normal, that person will start having frequent headache. And what are the causes of this thing? Meat. 
meat, your meat. And the second thing too is what we call milk. A woman or a man will just want to drink tea. You will burst one thing of milk and pour it in a small cup and shake it again with water and drink and throw it in the window from the side. Yes, he will know that he has drink milk. You don't understand. But do you know that that milk you are drinking, you are using your hand to tell yourself, we say I will die. <laughs> Truth. Because they said, information is the best teacher. Right? And if you are informed and you don't work according to it, now that, that is where death comes. Now, how does this make? Is this make make the blood thicker? And if your blood is thick, it is still cause the core core cramps. That paja paja. Secondly, the person will be having headache. Thirdly, the person will be having slight pain in the chest. That is, for example, now mostly the pain will just come like sharp pain. After a few minutes, it will disappear. The person in that moment cannot bend down like this. The pain from the chest. And what is the cause of it? Thickness of the blood. Now, many of us today, you see somebody want to eat indomie, two indomie, five egg, two indomie, three eggs, two indomie, two egg, only you. An adult is not supposed to eat more than egg a day. But many of us, we eat fry four eggs, one by one loaf of bread with one tin of milk. I want to enjoy because I've collected salary. Your salary is not being made to, to, to spend on hospital. And let me tell you something. If you are a person that says, I'm addicted to a particular drug, means that you are a servant to that drug. So what do you need to do? Is to stay away from those things that can do what? Bring you to become a servant to the thing. And again, you see, I said many of us eat to die, but not to live. Reasons are, Nigerians, Lagos as a whole, we are fond of it. I was once a bit thing. Now, let me say, what is that thing that you eat to die? Most of us here eat late night food. True or true? We eat late night food. Do you know that that food you eat at that moment does not digest? And what happened to the food? In the morning, you just wake up, you stretch your body. Ah, okay, will be okay. I'm not hungry. At least, that time you are not hungry, it does not mean that your, 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 your digestive system is not functioning. That food you eat that night does not digest. The body will carry it and go and store it in the liver. And that is why you see people having liver fat. There's one woman, very slim like me. You know, I ran the test for her and I discovered she's having liver fat. He said, no, I am not fat. I said, that is not the real thing. A liver fat will obstruct the liver not to filter the blood. Anything that comes to the heart, the liver will just send it directly because there's no time for him to do his function. Am I communicating, please? So what do you do is to make sure that what you eat, it keeps you and gives you what you want and not what you eat, that making you be a slave to chemical drugs. Now, some, um, my sister was saying that he has um, blood pressure. I, had, I, said, I was telling my colleague, I said, do you know that God did not create anybody and put blood pressure? Blood pressure can come as physical stress, yes. Emotional stress, yes. But it's, you can make it not to come. If you're somebody who indulges in taking water every minute, in the morning you wake up, you drink water. In the afternoon you take water. In the after night you take water. Nothing like blood pressure. That is just it. Without even taking chemical drugs, water is the number one pyramid for to cure you that blood pressure. But when you don't take water, you are far away from it. The body needs water to circulate around the blood circle so that you too, the heart will now be working slower. But if the heart is working faster, that is why the blood pressure interacts. So are we ready to do something now? Tell your neighbor, do something. Yeah, what are you going to do? For us to be free from all these things I just made mention of. Number one is to watch what you eat. What do you eat? The question is, what do you eat? So I'm said, I said, I'm not in the party to tell you, don't eat carbohydrates again. If I tell you, I'm punishing you because me, I'm eating it. You don't understand. Eat your carbohydrate food. Eat your protein food. Eat whatever food that comes around with you. But one thing I will advise you is, if you want to eat your carbohydrate food, please simply go to the market. Buy a bowl of vegetable. Slice them. Parboil them. Put it in your what? Your carbohydrates. And eat. What does this carbohydrate and vegetable does? The vegetable will break down the glucose 
in that carbohydrate so that it will not convert it to minerals to your body. Instead of increasing your blood sugar, it will do what? Bring it down. Instead of increasing your blood, your blood pressure, it will do what? Bring it down. So when I was growing up, I thought that say vegetable is for blood. Because it doesn't give blood. It, it produces the cells that activate the blood. You don't understand. So when someone says, go and drink milk and this thing, it, it worked then. But they don't know what's the really meaning of vegetable. Now, what are the causes of this, um, some of us, arthritis? Yeah, let me put off this arthritis now. Now, because it's very rampant to women and men these days. Now, arthritis, they said, is the inflammation of improper balance of calcium in the bone. And men and women today, the reason why our old men, our old women, young men, young women are having this problem is because the lost calcium, we don't ref we refuse to replace them. And what are the calcium that we lost? Number one, women lost calcium in five ways. Men lost calcium in three ways. You see, men, women are higher than men, right? Now, the first way that men, the women lost calcium, let me start with women first. The first way is, number one, during pregnancy. During pregnancy. If a woman is pregnant, Carrying her baby. The baby is taking calcium from the woman to build his own bone. Do you know that? The, the man, now, now, now poor sperm bone inside, the answer is no. How did picking get bone? It's from the mother, he transferred the calcium from the mother to build his own bone through what she's eating. That is why any pregnant woman is advised to eat more on cashier food. Such as what? Walnut. You know, how many of us know walnut? They call it asala. Yeah, walnut is very, very good. Cashew nut is very, very good. Take crabs. This crab, this, I don't know what they call them in Yoruba. Akon. Then more on okra, on ripe plantain. These are what a pregnant woman needs every day. No big buying milk for how many should they drink? We should stop buying milk. And number two, during breastfeeding, during breastfeeding, if a woman is breastfeeding, the baby is taking the calcium from the breast milk to create its own calcium and alert its mental brain. And that is the reason why they say you should breastfeed your baby even up to two years. I've been with the talk. Two years. Give up. So I go there in prem go sharp. You don't understand. Some people, young women today, after six months, they'll cut them. I know I made the team for. What do you put on there? <laughs> Who put on? You don't understand. So what you need to do? Get the baby, let the baby dry everything. That is what the father paid for. You don't get it. Okay, tell him if you reach us, make it dry everything. Now you pay him. You don't get it. If, praise the Lord. God give them, but somebody paid for it. It's not free. Was it free? Uh -huh. Now, the third way, during menstrual cycle, some of us will say, I am seeing my flu, and that flu is just ordinary. Do you know that that flu contains calcium? If you have that menstrual period, the blood that comes out from that woman every period of time, sometimes only five days, only three days, that blood contains calcium. So if you lost this thing without replacing them back, that is where it will be gathering. It's an accumulation of something. It does not appear once. Am I making sense? Then the third one, some people will say, I, want, I shave my eyebrow, your hair, you shave, your nails, you cut. It takes calcium to mint, to produce back that hair you cut from your face. It takes calcium to mint, to build back your fingernails. If all these things is not being replaced, tell me, why will it not be a victim tomorrow? What we are telling you now is not for the today, it's for the tomorrow. So whatever we are telling you today, don't say, eh, it's not my business, I'm age. You are not age. What about the men? The men that sit during having sexual intercourse with their wife, that sperm contains calcium. If you're afraid to take some supplements that helps that calcium to grow back. 
the person is going to fall. Either waist pain or arthritis. Where you see man peeing with four for grand to go He cannot pay like this to take it. Praise the Lord. Number two. Some men too are involved in doing one thing. Ah, if it is not cold water, I don't drink. And it's every minute cold, 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 cold. You're not helping yourself. If you're involved in doing it, please, I'll tell you, avoid it because it's not going to help you. It's going to lead to, it leads to arthritis. Now, let's go down to infection because I want to hit one, 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 one so that you'll be aware of what is going on in town. Now, infection. Infection are sickness that cure for a particular period of time. Am I communicating? So, it can be treated. It cannot be treated. Now, we have different kinds of infection. Let me start with this what they call high blood pressure, which many of us play with. We toy with. We say, after all, it's not my problem. What causes high blood pressure, number one? Envy. Somebody say envy. envy. You are, um, how do they call that in mommy? Gossip. I mean, a gossip. You no know, mind your own business. Now, person business, you the mind. That thing they call some. How do they call that for English? I don't know. A proco, a mebo, busy body. All these things lead to blood pressure. Church or church or. If you are somebody like that, please go and cancel your name from that register. You don't get it. Tell somebody I'm alive, Joe. Cancel your name from that register. Number two, reasons why many people fall short from high blood pressure. Improper checkup. Nobody wants to go to hospital. Nobody, rather you wake up in the morning, you do like this, you do like this. I'm okay. I am fit to go. You are not fit. Now, World Health Organization says that at least every four times in a year, that is every four, four months, make sure you go and do a comprehensive body checkup. Am I communicating? This is not just go and do blood sugar tests. Check your brain, your eye, your nose, your intestines, your um, gynecologist, your postrates, and every other thing. You check them. And how do you check them? And that is the reason why we, we came here with our gadgets. It's can the 25 parameters of the body. Am I communicating? Now, the third thing that makes people have high blood pressure is abnormal food we eat. Let me say this abnormal food. Now, for example, now, this oil we, we, we sell in the market. Do you know that this oil that has, it has a, a, a chemical called clamzone? And that chemical, the reason why they add the chemical to that oil, so that the oil will not sleep. Am I making sense now? The oil will not sleep. And that oil is not good for human living. It triggers blood pressure. Am I communicating? That's why if you want to buy oil in the market, please, if you put your hand in the oil, put it in your mouth, if it's like having different taste of oil, some will not know. The taste of oil is not sweet. It's just ordinary. But if you felt that it's getting someone sweet little, please run away from that oil. The best way for you to get oil is to do what? Go to what? Either to um, main market, shop right or anything, you can see better oil by there. But it's for us. Because God, we are, not, we are not poor in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, I am here. I'm not the poor. The, third, the fifth part, why most people fall with high blood pressure. Number two. Many of us bleach our oil. True or true? We bleach our oil when we want to cook. For example, you use your oil. Let me, let me give you this another advice. Please, if you use your oil to fry your chicken, your fish, or your meat, carry that oil. Keep it in the container. Keep it somewhere. Don't use that oil to cook again. Because that oil, if you use it to cook, you are not using oil by shafts. And that is where it causes fat in the body that leads to blood pressure. Am I making sense? Don't use the oil you use to fry your chicken, meat, or fish. Don't use that oil to cook again. Keep the oil for frying. Then bring fresh oil to make your what? Your stew. Please. That is why they said 96% of Nigerians does not go to hospital. Then 92% of Nigeria based on self-medication. Now we are talking about monkeypox. 
which is virus. It's a virus. But let me go, before I go to that, let me go straightly to this infection I'm telling you. Different infection is, we have problem with our gynecologist to the women. I'll push this ones to you, please. In case you are having your menstrual circle, please, if you are involved in using tissue paper, tissue paper, you see, tissue paper can land you to the hospital whereby doctor will diagnose you as a sickness called what? Do you know the sickness? How many of us know the sickness that killed Dora? Dora Kirele, the now dark woman. How many of us know the sickness that? Eh? What sickness? You do not know. She don't know. Dora Kirele was a now dark woman. She was diagnosed that she's having the cascular cancer. And we looked at it, we found that what are the causes of it? We have to do research. We discovered that what can lead to that cascular cancer is tissue papers, dust, and dirty. Number one, how does that, um, this tissue paper cause it? Some of us, we are in a period, we just take tissue, plus it, and we had a pant. Do you know that if you go home, do this experiment. Put your hands in the water. Bring tissue paper. Clean your hand. What will you see in the surface of your hand? Dust. Particles of dust. That dust is equivalent to when you use that same tissue paper to clean your vagina. When you ease yourself or when you have fun with your husband, please tell that person to go and use the restroom. Don't use tissue paper. Tissue paper can lead to cervical cancer. The dust, particle of the dust there in the surface of the vagina, as the woman stands up to go out, the particles will go straight and block the ovulator so that it will not ever be producing well. These are the cause. Gradually, the woman will start having... Problem. Don't start. And the man have fun with the woman, the man too will still contact it. And that is the reason why I sell, there's a, patient, a client of mine, I told them, I said, look, if I want to treat you, your husband will be there to I'll treat both of you. Because if you, the woman treats herself, when the man did not treat herself, immediately they make love together again, it will transplant again. So that is why both must treat. And both must do their own, their comprehensive body checkup. Okay. Now let's continue. Men, please, I'll advise you. It is very certain that many of us are not doing this. When you have fun with your wife, you just turn to the other side of the bed and go. Is that not true? It's very, very wrong. It can lead to post treats. Whereby you want to urinate, you go to the restroom like this, you stand. You will press it. <clears throat> and many of us today will have, will be, we, are, we are pressed. You want to urinate. Instead of to go to outside the restroom, I mean, just leave what you are doing at that moment, go to the restroom, you still hold it until you finish what you are doing. That thing, you are enlarging the, the prostate. And when the prostate gets enlarged, that is why you see most of our forefathers in the village. Before they go out to urinate, they will be in their body. Because there's no other thing that can hold it. Am I communicating, please? So please, tell your husband, once you finish having fun, please, can you just use the restroom, please? Go and force yourself. The man will say, I'm not, I'm not pressed. Go and force yourself. Push out that spam. Because the spam that comes from the man, the semen that comes from the man, it hangs somewhere. The little came out, but there are some still in the uterus of the man, sexual man road. It will dry under three seconds. It will dry off. And once it dry off, it is going to accumulate. It will be accumulating until one day it will get to a stage. It will now become a bridge that they cannot cross to the river. So that is the reason why you need to go out after having fun. Go out then, pass your urine, come back and rest. Are we together now? Because we are told that sex is the best exercise to those who have the license to operate. If you don't have the license to operate, don't go there. Are we together now? Now we talk about exercise. My, my colleague was talking about exercise. Exercise, you see, keeps us Far, far away from death and sickness. One, to exercise at 10% to our daily life. How do we exercise? In the morning, you can put on your radio set. Put on your radio set. Dance. 
Sometimes pastor will say, okay, offering time is a blessing time. Come, let us dance to the God. Some of us will be doing big boy. If you are dancing, you are burning out fat out of your body. So daddy himself did you well to say, dance. Then Cody starts to be busy playing music for you to dance. You will not be forming big boy. Please, dance. Shewere, Nishosh, Omo. Dance like Were. Then in the Lord, I'm not talking of physical madness, all right? Now, when you dance, that dance you are dancing is adding more 10% to your life. You are looking more headier. You can go home and that day of your life you become more sweet. And number two, form of exercise. You can tell yourself, okay, I want to indulge myself in doing roadworks, like jogging. You can do it under five minutes. Some of us go say, eh, after all, bus stop, go you, maybe they say we should trek. Now exercise, now stress. Exercise is a conscious effort. It comes from the mind. If you do anything outside the mind, now stress. And that stress can lead to what they call blood pressure. Are we together now? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? So please, my advice to you is, we should not toy with the gift God has given to us. They say the best place in life, the best place in life is to see yourself being fulfilled what God has destined you to. Am I making sense now? The best thing in life is to see yourself more fulfilled on what God has destined you what? to. But the worst place in life is to see yourself spending that money you have for chronic diseases. Chronic diseases are not our friends. They are the worst enemies that we have. But that is the best thing we love doing. Let me say something. Please, if you are an adult, a bottle of mineral you see today contains eight cubes of sugar. A bottle of lacacera contains seven cubes, uh, 17 cubes of sugar. To those who take alcohol, they'll say, man, after all, let me hide. A bottle of beer contains 21 cubes of sugar. So please, if you see somebody killing himself, that all the name of enjoyment, just tell the person, brother, I don't want you to die. Because that thing you consume inside of you is accumulating to a particular rate, whereby one day the person will say, oh, which winch did they disturb me? There's no winch somewhere. You are the one that invited him yourself. So at this junction, I'll say thank you very much. And God bless you. In case you have question, please. Sorry, sir. In case you have question, I might entertain to answer five questions from each of these one group. Please, let's make it snappy because I'm still going back to Abekuta. Um, uh, what do you call them? Please. I'm, go no, I'm going to Ekiti today. When I finish, I'm going on. So please, in case you have question, you can. Yes. Please, somebody help me with my Praise the Lord. Thank you, doctor. We have really learned a lot. Sorry, I'm not a doctor. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm a nutritionist. Okay, nutritionist. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, in course of um, discussion, you mentioned about the food that affects us, the food that we eat that will lead to death. But you have not said the told us the food that we eat to that will, that will live. That will live. That yes. That you said there are some food we eat that leads to death. Yes. You talk about egg, one egg in a day. You talk about uh, meat and, and milk. And we have alternative to all this food. What are the alternative and what are the effects of the alternative? Okay, let me answer this question first before I go to you. Please, I made mention of, I said some of us eat to die, not eat to live. Is that not true? Hello, sir. I said we eat to die, we don't eat to live. And most of us, the reason why we eat to die is because we abuse the food. Normally, as an adult, we are not supposed to take much meat and meat. One bowl of meat of meat is enough for an adult. But the children need to eat more on meat because it helps them produce their protein. You understand? The protein metabolism makes them make stronger. But you, now, let me, if you, if you wake up in the morning, Monday, tomorrow is Monday, right? If you wake up in the morning, you eat your breakfast, right? And you go to work. Is that not true? You sit at work, you might sit about 12 hours straight. Is that not true? Now, sitting 12 hours, are you doing something that burn out the fat from you? The answer is no. But children, you see them jumping from one pot to the other. They run around, they play around. 
That time they are playing, they are jumping, they are burning out the fat that they have consumed at that moment. So as an adult, we are expected to eat less on carbohydrates. But I will tell you, if you want to eat more on carbohydrates, always deploy vegetable to be your best friend. And your vegetable will be parboiled. Whatever you want to eat, either your rice or your pandedium or your beans, just put vegetable. You must understand. So why I say you should put add vegetable is because it will help to break down the glucose into smaller particles and convert them to what minerals in the body. So that instead of you incurring sugar, it's just like somebody now who have blood sugar in the body, and the person started taking uh, started taking oranges, pineapple, and all these things. He's enjoying now, but you know that at that time it's not that person is not enjoying. As an adult, we don't need more pineapple. What we need on as an adult is something that is far away from glucose. Like, for example, now, watermelon. Water, we can write the fruits down because I might not be able to answer this question. As an adult, what you are expected to eat? As an adult, what is expected to eat after your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner? Please make sure you have watermelon beside you. If you don't have watermelon, there's something we call cucumber. Am I communicating? And if you want to eat this cucumber or watermelon, please don't remove the back. That back is the most important thing. Eat everything. Even the seed, eat it. Some people say no. Eat everything for you to be more healthier. Number three, carrots. Carrots. Then number four, those some people say I don't eat okra. You are killing yourself. Okra is a very good vegetable. Am I making sense now? Pa boiled one or not be boiled one. Popo. You see, purple is very good. Make sure you have these things in your possession. Don't go for orange. Adult, because orange contains glycerin. It contains high-density glucose. As you take, some people take, we'll just go to market, buy like 20 naira orange. Sit down only then eat them. I'll just look them and say, God, they don't know. Orange is good. It has vitamin C. But when you consume more than one, you are increasing the glucose in it. Pineapple is the same thing. So as an adult, you don't expect to eat more on it. Not that you don't eat it, but little. Okay? Little of it. Then I see you living more healthier. Avoid eating late night food. Late night food, I mean, some people will eat around 8 o'clock or 9, they jump to the bed and sleep. It's wrong. Even You can eat any time of the day. But the truth is, give four hours of your food. Before going to bed. Am I making sense? If you can do that, have a bottle of water beside you. Before you finish, after that time you relax well, take that bottle of water, drink it, then go to bed and sleep. That water will act as a digestive system in your system to break those food into smaller particles. And before you know what happens, you are healthy as everybody is. Thank you very much. There is a question from the children class. Uh, okay, three, qu four questions. Number one is, how can chronic disease be stopped? Two, how do we take care of our body to stop high blood pressure? Three, can an adult eat fish? Four, can a child eat concuba? Thank you. No question, I'll answer. Praise the Lord. Uh, my question is in relation to what you said about women uh, as regards to tissue paper. Okay. Um, so something about tissue paper, uh, women or ladies going uh, after urination, they use tissue paper. So what, what is the alternative? If they can't use tissue paper, what, can, what else can, I, can they do? Uh, yes, I know they can use water, but... What if, what, if, what if water is not there? So, uh, my, another question is, uh, what about mango? Mango. Praise the Lord. We talk about uh, fruit. Yeah, we all know that uh, all fruits are now come out with chemical. They are now chemicalized. Talking about, about um, carrots, I went to the market the other day. They told me that uh, 
I wanted to buy carrot. The man told me that uh, don't buy that carrot. When you see any carrot that is clean, very clean, don't buy it. I said, why? The man told me that they use Omo to wash carrot. And when you get to, when you buy it and drop it in the fridge, the following day, it will melt. Secondly, not only carrot, all around the fruit now, they use a chemical. Go to talk about a, a, well, this, a, I've forgotten it, it's escaped me. They use a cambard now, cambard to, uh, to ripe uh, plantain, all those stuff. Before, I, I, I used to like uh, plantain, I, I eat a lot of plantain. But when I see that cambard now is the ultimate of ripe things, I, I, I stop it. So what can we do about all those chemicalized fruits? Praise God. My question goes to the, uh, the man. During the sexual intercourse of something, you say that after the play play, now the person should go straight and urinate. Some people during that period, after the play play, they cannot be able to go and urinate. What is the alternative that they can do so that the bladder will be able to remove it? That's what. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me start with the first question. He said, um, are children, how can chronic diseases stop? Now, the only way chronic diseases can be stopped is as we are passing this word to you, don't keep it alone. Pass it to the next person. Where I'm going to now, I'm going to teach them on what they call this monkey paws. I wanted to say before, but I was looking at the time. Monkey paws. You see monkey paws? is even sitting beside you. You might not know. Yes. It's a virus. Hello. Praise the Lord. Monkey paws is a virus. It's not a sickness that's spiritual. It's a communicable disease. It can transfer from one person to the other. The only way you can prevent it is, number one, build your immune system. Let your immune system be built by taking more on fruits and vegetables. Watch the kind of food you eat. Are we together now? Now, for you to know whether your immune system is low, whether it's high, or it's not even functioning at all, is when you do a comprehensive body checkup. We, in that our gadget, we'll check your immune system first. If your immune system can prevent you from this infection, some people now might sit down. If I cough now, the next person beside me will be feeling that, ah, I want to cough, I want to cough. That time, that immune system has invited that cough to come inside of him. So somebody, you sit beside somebody that has high blood uh, temperature. He has not blood, I mean, his body is hot. Am I communicating? Before you know what happened, you start feeling feverish. Means that your immune system is low. Anything you can contact easily means that person's immune system is low. So I'm going to tell you, I'm, 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 I'm various to this particular thing. I don't need this. No. Your immune system must be checked. And again too, monkey pus, you see, I say it's a virus. It's a communication disease that flows from one person to another. Number one is through cough. So you need to avoid people beside you that cough. Number two, somebody that sneezes through sneezing. It's here. You don't understand. You don't get it. That person, if that thing touch you, the person is about to contact it. Number three, avoid unsterilized materials. You that is a man, you go to barbing salon to barb your head. Try and buy your own clipper. Are we coming? Am I communicating, please? People that used to do their nails, um, don't borrow from Yashikira to come and do your own. Use your own. All these people that do carry up all around, don't let them use their own. Bring your own out. That, is, that will help you from what? From affecting this. And that is the only way you can stop chronic diseases. Number two, Konkoba is good for even the newborn baby. Give everybody needs it. Everybody can eat fruits and vegetables. 
as an adult, I will tell you, instead of going for meat, give them fish. Fish is good. Turkey is very good, though. Turkey is very good. Chicken is very good. But there is only one thing that is not good in it, which is the skin. If you want to eat, why I say turkey and chicken is good is because turkey and chicken, they, dissolve, they digest easily. It's easily digested. But the only thing you want to do, remove the skin. That is the sweetest part. You don't understand. That skin is the sweetest part. But remove that sweet part. You don't get it. Uh -huh. Because the Bible says that what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul here, Abby? That wise head. He told us that what shall it profit you and I to hustle from January to December and spend our money on chronic diseases. So please, let's be very careful. Now in terms of mango, mango is a very good fruit. You can eat mango in the morning. It helps to produce, the, um, it helps to fight against cataracts from the eyes. Mango helps like people who always have dry throats. Some people, they always have this dry throat. When you take mango, mango contains vitamin A and D. That helps to do what? Produce it. It helps the eyes to function well. So those who have problem with the eyes always go for mango. Mango is very good. Now, my sister was talking about fruits, carrots. Yes, all this malam, they are indirectly killing us. All fruits you see now are all chemicalized fruits. Our apple, our banana, she just been mentioned of banana. Cabbage. That's why we are scared of it. If you want to eat banana, those local one, there's one local short, short one. That one not the sweets. But it's very good. That is what I, I, I recommend for people to buy. Don't go and buy that, that long one that is long. It stays like um, this thing. When you are eating it, you will like your head you scratch your head. Those ones are poison. Now, carrot in main mention now is that is what they use to wash it. They'll use omo. You see them brushing it. And that is the reason why if you want to eat carrot, don't keep carrot in the fridge. Don't keep it in the fridge. Buy it that day. Wash it with warm water. They eat it at that spam pot. Don't keep it. When you keep it, it, it grass down. You get it because of the chemical. Apple too. Apple is being produced by a chemical. So that chemical preserves it for almost how many months before it comes to Nigeria? Nigeria does not produce apple. I heard recently that they are producing the nut, which I'm still doubting. Now, it's been produced somewhere in our neighboring country here. Before it will come to Nigeria, it might take how many months? The reason why it can stay to that time, you see it, it will look like it's just today they pluck it. It's because of the chemical they preserve it with. Am I, making, am I making sense now? So what do you need to do? One a day. One. Don't eat more than one as an adult. Children can eat more than millions of it. Are we together now? Are we together? Okay. So that is why we here are standing out to millions of people, we can tell you, you can live healthier and better. You can become that health manager for yourself. Doctors will not eat your money when you know the right thing to do. Information is not power, but it's the application of the information that is the power. If I tell you now, and you say rubbish, one day you say, I hear them. Um, God will not give you a portion in Jesus' name. Is that no more question? Your question is what? tissue paper. Yes, I was talking about tissue paper. What is the alternative for tissue paper? Good. We have there's something we call baby wipe. Baby wipe, mama, you know, it's, it's soft like this. It's like wet. That thing, every woman need to have it. Every woman, if you, you can buy for your wife as gift, it's not expensive. It's at least about um, ten naira or twenty naira or hundred naira. 500. Okay, the boy. Hey, you can buy it for your wife as a gift yes. to preserve her life. Just say, Mommy, I love you too much. Take. She will not value them before. You'll say, What is this? But she, you know why you are doing it. So please, baby wipe is very good. And again, if a woman is under a menstrual period, if you use tissue paper, the first thing you start seeing, the normal woman period is supposed to be five days. Normal woman period. Supposed to be five days. Now, if you start using tissue papers, it will start reducing it because of the particles that have stuck in. Now, you see, woman will see period for two days. You know, say, I make it go say, ah, Allah, Nisheja, Jemak Parolo. 
You're not part of anything. It's an infection. Any woman that is having two days, the period has gone. That woman has to go and check herself because infection has stuck in there. It's an infection. Gradually, gradually, it will start graduating. For you to be free from the graduation, what do you need to do? Is to stay away from those things that we need to do. Praise the Lord. I, so there's one question I want to ask. The question is that goes to, I always see people eating uh, tomatoes or onions. They say for I. So as we are preaching since I didn't hear those things, so that's what I say. Let me ask. Thank you very much. Tomatoes, onions, and um, tomato and onion is a very good source of vitamins. Okay? It helps, number one, onion. It helps to fight against cauterized problem on the eyes. If somebody is having problem with the eyes, the person has lost vitamin A and D and zinc. So what the person needs to do is, they will advise you to, if they say it's just a minor thing, they will advise you to eat onion. So tomato helps to uh, pro, uh, um, build the skin layers. And it helps the heart too to function well. It helps to build the skin layers and it helps the heart to function well. So that is the reason why Tomato onion is very good. Let it be more on your food than any other thing. Sir, ma, if I continue to ask answer question today, I will not live here. I'm still going back to a kitty. Hmm. Okay, let me answer this one more question. And salad cream. Okay, I will do that. Praise God. Please, there's something that I want to ask. What about if we can use salt to wash our vegetable because of flies that fall in where they cut it, like watermelon, even the meats? Okay. Praise the Lord. You said you should not eat late night food. So when is the time, what time is appropriate to Okay, 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 please. Please save my time. If we start grumbling now, we'll not talk again. One house. Okay. Now, um, the question here is, that will answer everybody's question, please. The question now here is, um, Bama, butter, and salad cream, is it good for consumption? The answer is, no, it's not too good for consumption. Because it produces still fats that can lead to cholesterol. So what you need to do is to reduce the intake of the consumption things. Your bama reduce it. Don't eat it more because if you don't do exercise, it will be accumulating. I want to get on that. Likewise, your butt butter, they still accumulate. So please, for us to know this, we need to come down to the machine and the machine will scan you and tell you what and what to do. Now, this man mentioned time to eat. You can eat anytime, but make sure you give yourself four hours before you go to bed. Take a glass of water before you go to bed. Like my sister said, fruits, Abby. What kind of fruits? So is it advisable to use salt and please? Yes, it is advisable to use salt. But for me, I will tell you, instead of using the salt that has a cardicolum, you take hot warm water just to wash it. Warm water is very, very good. Salt is good though, but warm water, your vegetable, before you cook it, before you cut it, put it in the warm water, just slice it, then cut, then slice, then when your food is done, then put your vegetable, your food don't done, no. put vegetable, then cover it, then bring it down. Before you open it, as you put it, cover it, then bring it down. Don't open it, leave it like that. Now after some time, Open and stir it round. Then dish it out to eat. That is the best way to eat your vegetable. Thank you very much and God bless you. Answer the question there. I'll answer it for you. Let, we'll me, go there. let, let me ask a question. Okay, sir. Those days, I've told my wife about it. Those days, when we want to cut vegetable, we cut it with the, what is it called now? Stems. The stems. But today, they will just cut only the leaf. Is it good to eat vegetable stem or not? Praise the Lord. And 
Ugu. Many people eat ugu, but they do not eat uh, what is this other vegetable now? Uh, water leaf. People like ugu, and I know ugu in Lagos State. Be as you get to. Yes. Uh, they don't. Many people don't like those. But uh, water leaf. This uh, vala and I'm little for you. Tete. There's other one. Hey, your auntie me. Amunu tutu. That you know that soft uh, one that just can grow anywhere. Uh, okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Daddy has answered uh, and that uh, he has asked a very important question, which I will want you and I to follow. Now, vegetables are very good in eating. The stem, some if it's too strong, you don't cut it. But if it's not strong, like the one you can break when you are removing your ugu, it's very, very okay. Because that one can easily be chewed. We are not goats that we're eating raw this thing, right? We are human beings. God has created us well. So what we need to do is, all fruits are very good. Go to the extent, most of us are running away from the truth. There's one, the one leaf, they call it green leaf, that has like blood on the leaf like this. That one is very, very good. It works faster. Then, water leaf. Reason why water leaf, some people misunderstand the apron of water leaf. Water leaf has um, a natural gas inside. If you want to boil water leaf or you want to cook water leaf, you first of all put the leaf on the plate, then put warm water, then leave it for some period of time, then fit it. Those organic um, oil that inside the water leaf will go down, then you're not eating the vegetable. It's very good. Don't discriminate this one or not this one. Shoko or no shoko, they are all vegetable. But based on how you prepare it, I just tell you that if your food is done, pick your leaf, put it in the fire, inside that same pot, cover it, bring it down, give it some minutes, then stir it round, then start dishing for consumption. That is how the vegetable works for you. Are we together now? So all leaves are good. But there's one leaf that we don't eat that it pains me a lot. It's called bitter leaf. Bitter leaf is very, very good. It's medicinal. Bitter leaf is very, very good. Olobo. Is it Olobo or Olobo? And it's expensive. It's not expensive. It's very cheap. It's very cheap. It's very, very good. It's very good. I advise you every food you want to eat, always put that thing. Because that thing, it helps to kill it helps to kill something they call avomining. This thing, sometimes one want to vomit or any eating or say pepper or no pepper. But once that thing is there, it brings back the normal life. So thank you very much and God bless you. To so those who are interested, please I will say I will visit you. Ask your question there, I will answer. Uh, because of you, wait. But I have to be there today because tomorrow they are expecting me. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Let's clap our hands to our instructor. Let's clap our hands. Clap your hands very well.